Welcome back y'all to another video here on the Whiplash TV channel. Today we are doing part two on this 2001 Chevy Silverado. If y'all haven't already checked out the first two videos on the build, showing the truck itself and then also showing the first round of modifications, be sure to go check that out. Today we're going to keep moving along with the mods on this truck and fixing it up. The first thing that we're going to do today is get rid of these side moldings and the 1500 badge. I'm on the lookout for some different tires and wheels. At the time of starting this video, I don't have any new tires and wheels. But if I find some new tires and wheels, I'm going to add that to this video too, so stay tuned. The other thing that I'm going to remove in this video is all these badges on the back of this tailgate. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. There's still over 90% of y'all that are watching the videos that are not yet subscribed. It's free, it's quick, it's easy. Please just take a second and hit that subscribe button. You can ring that notifications bell to be notified every time that I post a new video. Please hit that thumbs up on the video and like it. And also leave me a comment somewhere throughout this video. Let me know what you think. All right, let's hop right into it. To remove these badges, you're gonna need a few things. First off, I like to spray them with Dissolve It. This contractor grade solvent really releases the adhesive and helps you to get it off of the paint. You're also gonna need some fishing line. The stronger, the better. After pulling off the badge, you're gonna need an eraser wheel. That's gonna remove the adhesive that's left on the paint. Once you're done removing the adhesive off the paint, it works really good to go behind it with a polisher, such as this Milwaukee 15 millimeter orbital polisher, and then also a good compound. That'll help clean up and buff the paint and make it to where you'll never know that the badge was ever there. If you don't have a polisher, you can just do it by hand. If you do it by hand, use a combination of something like some cleaner wax and also a little bit of compound with a little bit of grit and work it by hand. But the polisher is definitely better than going at it by hand, if you have one or can afford to pick one up. All right, let's get started. If the dissolve it works really good and loosens up the adhesive, then you can carefully pull off the badge by hand if it releases the adhesive good enough. Always make sure that when you're pulling on a badge or a decal that you are not pulling the paint off with the adhesive. That's all it takes. Now it's as if the badge was never there. 
So now that you've seen what it takes to pull the badge off and clean it up, I'm gonna do that same process to these badges on the tailgate that are left. And then also I'm gonna do the same process to the molding and the 1500 on the side of the truck. Cue that sweet edit. The back tailgate's now done. It's looking good and clean. Shined up too after polishing and buffing it out from removing the emblems. Came out real nice. I think it looks a lot better with all three emblems gone. Y'all let me know what you think. Next up, it's gonna be these side moldings. They look a little wet because I put some dissolve it on top of the moldings between the body and it all the way down. I did that last night so they could soak and then hit them again today. Soaking them with that dissolve it will just make it to where they come off even easier. Even if I was going to keep moldings, I would at least change these out. They're kind of faded just from over the years. The tops of them are really dirty. So they would need to be changed out anyways, just to, you know, make the truck look its very best with new ones. But we're going for that clean look, so they're about to get removed. I also soaked the 1500 badge. And I also soaked the LS badge. So we're going to pull this one and the one on the other side as well. These lay really flush to the body and right up next to the paint, so... Soaking these really helps a lot for getting them off. All right, we're gonna start getting all these badges and molding off of the sides of the truck. We'll catch y'all when it's finished.
They now have more of that smooth body line and clean look that we're going after. You can see when it ties in with that tailgate, which has been all cleaned up, it's starting to look real nice, real smooth, nice and clean. Another thing that I'm doing on this truck is y'all may have noticed this front fender. It's got these two dents here. And then also the fender is pretty oxidized and lost its shine. Well, this carried on over into here and this right here is shiny only because I buffed it. So you can see how shiny this back part of this fender is. But then over here, there's not much shininess or sheen to it at all. So even though I'm going to have to do something about those dents there, I'm going to go ahead and buff this out to make it look better. I figured I would show y'all this little transformation real fast, going from all dull to shined up. Look at how much better that fender looks. It's definitely an improvement over what it was. I love that Milwaukee polisher. It's so cool, all the things you can do. Bring back old paint like that, remove scratches, remove oxidation, just all sorts of stuff. There's a link in the video description to that Milwaukee polisher, the compound I'm using, and the polishing pads as well. So now the next thing to do is to change out the stock shackles with some two inch lowering shackles. I've got a video on the channel already of the process of how to do it. So we're not gonna take up a whole bunch of time on how to change them out. Let's get them swapped out. Take a look at the new looks. And there you have it, two inches lower from the lowering shackles. Let's do a little before and after and take a look around it. Thank y'all so much for watching another video. I'm really happy with how this truck is turning out. Before you get on out of here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all in the next video.